is Joy to the World. Uh, you guys know Joy to the World. And Will and I got talking about this the other day, and so that's why I wanted to bring it up. Um, <clears throat> let me give you a little background. All of you know this song, I'm sure, but uh, let me give you a little background on it. We've been singing this song since we were little kids, right? Or at least hearing this song since we were wee little children. Um, but here's, here's it, it's written by Isaac Watts, a famous hymn writer who wrote the other hymns uh, like Alas, Did My Savior Bleed, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. And he wrote Joy to the World in 1719. 1719. And uh, here's what he wrote. And you know the song. <clears throat> Don't start singing, Ron. But here it is. Okay. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy. No more let sins and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse is found, far as the curse is found. He rules the world with truth and grace, and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love, and the wonders of his love. Now, do you guys know why he wrote that? It's a, it's a great song. It's a Christmas, Christmas song from the old time. It started out as a pagan belief, then it was drafted and changed to the Christian belief. But originally it was a pagan belief. And we were changing. Well, 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 yeah, then you're, you're talking about the, the, Chris, the, the Christmas holiday, but I'm talking about the song. Do you know why he wrote that? <coughs> That's what he believed. Well, look at the title. Joy to the Lord. The Lord has come. Okay. So he's, he's letting us beware of the coming of the Lord. Okay. And when, and, and, when, and when was the coming of the Lord? On Christmas Day. Okay. So, so here's a little trivia. Okay. Will, do you want to tell them? Oh, <laughs> if, you, if you listen closely to the lyrics, he's not talking about Christmas Day. He's talking about the second coming. Do you follow? Do you, do you follow? Speak up a little bit. They, they couldn't okay. hear you. I said, when you, <clears throat> if you listen closely to the lyrics, yeah. he's not talking about the birth of oh, yeah. Jesus. He's talking about the second coming. Right. In, in following... Uh, verses, it does talk about that, yes. Yes, yes. So, so his original intent, he based it off of Psalm 98. And, but his original intent was not to have a song about Christmas. It's actually about the second coming of Christ, when he comes to actually reign uh, in its fullness. Not, not when he came as a baby to redeem humanity, but, but uh, when he comes back. So if you look at, listen to the words, Joy to the world, the Lord is come, let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare a room and heaven and nature sing. Uh, it sounds to, like it would fit with Christmas, uh, but it's not what he's talking about. Uh, and then he says, have, uh, uh, Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Uh, let men employ their songs while fields and floods and rocks and hills and plains repeat the sounding joy. No more let sins and sorrow grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow, far as the curse is uh, found. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove uh, the glories of his righteousness, wonders of his love. So he's actually talking about the joyous time of the return of the Messiah, not just the first time, 
but now the second time. And so it's, it's a very interesting thing how this song became famous as a Christmas song. Uh, but that's okay. <laughs> it, it works. It fits. But when you hear this song uh, played over and over at Christmas time, remember, uh, while it's great, it's actually talking about the second coming of Christ, not Christmas. Uh, and then also, he wrote it for a reason. And let me read to you what he based it off of. Here it is. It's from uh, yeah. Psalm 98, verse, in, in particular, there were a few verses. He wrote, here's what it's based off of. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. Sing praises to the Lord with the lyre, and with the lyre and the sound of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, make a joyful noise before the king, the Lord. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, let the hills sing for joy together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the world, he will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with equity. So, so it's talking about the future, but it's also a call for everyone to be happy, everyone to, be, to rejoice, because all oppression, all uh, hatred, all evil will be brought down and, and righteousness lifted up. So, what he had noticed in his time was that when he would get up to sing and he would look around, or if he got up to, you know, whatever, in a worship service in church, when he looked around, people kind of looked like right now. Kind of <laughs> stern, you're smiling, but stern and kind of like, you know, no one was singing. Everyone had serious faces and everyone's kind of stiff and and uh, uh, he was like, well, there's no joy. No one's happy. No one's getting all into it emotionally. No one's clapping their hands. No one's doing this. No one's going, yes. You know, really put their hearts into it. And he was like, this, we need to have joy. Why? Because out of all the people of the earth, uh, if, if you truly believe, that you have been forgiven of your sins and that the God who made you has come to you and loved you. All right, so so uh, so he's saying, like, look, if you've been forgiven so much and you've received everything in, in God your Savior, you should be happy. What are you so gloomy about? So he wanted to write a song about joy and about you know, hey, we, there are things that get us down, but there is a God who's coming who will make everything right. And he said, so we should be happy and sing about that. And that's why he wrote the song. Now, somehow, it got co-opted into Christmas. But that's, but that's okay. That's okay. And, and, and it works. I love it at Christmas time, okay? So, because it could be both, you know, it works. So, uh, but what about us, you know? When, when we go to a church or we go to chapel or when we're talking about expressing our faith, you know, maybe, maybe you're not a Christian, but you practice a faith and a belief or worship somehow, do you have joy? I mean real joy in your heart. Then what Watts was trying to do was sort of smack us a little bit on the upside the head and wake us up and say, look, joy is yours, and let's get excited about that and sing about that because you know the living God who created everything. And, 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 and when you had fallen and turned away from him, he rescues you gives you his love, and takes you and makes you you spiritually first. But as we also know, later, 
physically for all of eternity. God, God bless you. For all of eternity. And so all of these things that we have right now can weigh us down and make us a little gloomy and not feel like singing. But when you're touched by God and you have his love, you're going to want to sing about it. You're going to get excited about it. And that was Watts's, like, sometimes we get in a little funk. I understand yeah. that. You know, we, we have moods, especially as, as, you know, adults, and we get older, we, we get in these moods. We kind of go up and down. We get more cranky the older we get, you know, that kind of a thing. It's all, it's all kind of true. Um, and yet, and yet, you know, like for me, be angry, right? I'm, I'm very grateful and, and in love, but I can get a little moody and a little tired, and I don't feel like talking right now, or I don't feel like, you know, you just kind of get, I don't know what it is. I don't want to feel down, but you just kind of feel like, eh, you're, you're zapped of energy, and you're just wanting to be a vegetable. And, uh, but then she'll say a certain word, or do a certain thing, or all of a sudden, it will come back to my memory. Oh my word, what my life was like when I didn't have you. And how amazing my life is with you. And, 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 how much, and, how much, and how much I love you. And then all of a sudden, when I recall that, it floods my mind, my heart, with joy. And I start getting a little pep in my step again. And it's the same thing sometimes we have to sort of shake ourselves awake, even within our relationship with God or in our spirituality. Uh, because we can get into a funk, you know. Uh, but there is joy to be found. When we look, there is positivity, good things in our lives. Okay, that that he has given. All right, so good, good word. Any anything else? So you're gonna go listen to Joy to the World, hear it in a different light. All right, let's pray. Uh, Father in heaven, uh, thank you for this time, and thank you, Lord, that we can have holy joy uh, to be able to uh, rejoice even in the midst of darkness when things are tough. There's still this peace and and the presence that you give us to be able to be happy, to have a, a peace that passes all understanding, even in these times where it can be so difficult. Uh, Father, we look to you for our hope and the promise of heaven and, and the joys that await us there. Uh, thank you for Christ who makes it possible. Uh, Lord, we want to lift up uh, these things that were just mentioned. You know them all. You've heard them all. And Lord, you have uh, your thoughts and will concerning each thing. And uh, so, Lord, I, I pray what George mentioned for our staff here. Uh, Lord, we thank you for the staff that provide day in and day out care for our veterans. And uh, uh, Lord, we pray for wisdom and patience and and uh, uh, excellent ability uh, among among all of our staff, the doctors, nurses, and and, and others. Uh, as they continue to serve the needs of our veterans. We thank you for this and ask that uh, there, there would be a good understanding of what those needs are and then earnest effort to, uh, to meet those needs. Uh, Father, help, help the veterans uh, to, to work with staff to, to communicate uh, positively what they need and, and out of appreciation uh, uh, support the staff as they try to support them. Uh, but we thank you for them, Father. Uh, Lord, uh, we do pray for all the families represented here and ask for your grace upon them. Uh, Lord, I think of Will's uh, uh, loved one, Cheryl, and just pray for her continued healing and ask uh, that she would get better real soon. And, uh, and Lord, uh, we also pray uh, just asking that you would continue to bring peace and uh, 
resolution to the situation in, in the Middle East uh, with Israel and Hamas, and even in the Ukraine. But, but Father, we know there's fighting all around the world, not just there in those places, but all around the world. Uh, and Lord, we ask that the time and the end of fighting and warfare would come, and that the reign of Christ, the Prince of Peace, would be ushered in soon. Uh, Lord, until then, help us, Lord, to be people of peace and uh, help us to practice uh, peace in our daily lives. Uh, Father, help us as we do so to be thankful, as Will said, for the things that we have and not, and not get frustrated for the things that we do not have, each of us. And Lord, thank you uh, as you continue to work that reality out in Will's life. Uh, Father, we also pray for uh, Cherry, uh, who mentioned uh, her decision to uh, continue to live right here at Alpha CLC uh, and is thinking about the future still and deciding about things in the future and just pray for your wisdom and guidance uh, upon Cherry's life in, in that uh, area. Uh, Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayer and we pray all of this in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. So you're going to go listen to Joy to the World? Hear it in a different light?